بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ و کم امریٹنگ دا برتھ اینیورسری اف اور بلوور پروفٹ پروفٹ محمد مے اللہ سے محسن پیس بی اپون ہم دا پروفٹ اف لو جوائے پائٹی افیکشن اینڈ مرسی دا ون ہو ٹو پرائڈ ان سائننگ دا موسٹ سگنیفیکنٹ ڈاکیومنٹ اف دا ہسٹری دا کانسٹیٹیوشن اف مدینہ دا کانسٹیٹیوشن وچ انکمپسس دا رائٹس اف آل دا پیپل لیونگ ان مدینہ ڈس ریگارڈنگ دیر فیتھ دا ریس اور ایتھنک بیک گراؤنڈ دا رائٹس فار مسلمز دا رائٹس فار نان مسلمز دا رائٹس اف جوز اینڈ کرسچنز اینڈ دا پیگنز ایچ اینڈ ایوری ہیومن بینگ لیونگ ان مدینہ پروفیٹ یوز ٹو بی ویری کائنڈ اینڈ جنرس ٹو اور چلڈرن He used to give them camel rides and sing beautiful rhymes for them in their own language. An active participation in different sports activities of the youths, a benign prophet for the older generation. His benevolence extended to the limit where he used to give ample amount of time and space to the older generation. The son of Hatam is converted into Islam just for a single reason. He saw the Prophet giving a significant amount of time to an old lady listening to her problems of her daily life. A radiant lamp, a universal healer whose motto was just to heal the wounds and suffering of the people akin to his brother, Prophet Jesus and Prophet Moses. Yes, he used to call Prophet Musa and Prophet Isa as his brothers. Prophet not only encouraged people to practice moral traits, rather he was encouraging them and motivating them to practice noble moral traits. That's the difference between akhlaq and makarim al-akhlaq. Whereas akhlaq is just to practice moral traits, makarim al-akhlaq is to practice noble moral traits. Normally in our day-to-day -day life we forgive those people who commit the minor sins. Prophet used to encourage people to forgive and forbear those who had vindictive agendas against other people. And that's the sign of a more noble moral trait which I call Makarim al-Akhlaq. Prophet not only encouraged people to tie the knot of kinship and silatul rahim among the family members, Rather, he extended his makarim al-akhlaq and noble moral traits to ask and encourage people to practice makarim al-akhlaq and to tie the kinship with those who betrayed the family members. The transcendental vision of his message is exemplified very beautifully in Quran in Surah Al-Ma'idah, verse number 8, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the ill feeling and animosity towards a person shouldn't lead you to become an unjust person. You need to practice justice and that is how the Prophet of Islam has practiced this beautiful teaching of Quran. And for this reason, he was able to collect the jewels and the pearls like Salman from Persia, Suhaib from Rome and Bilal from Ethiopia. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah, Allah, Allah